stuff hits like that, it's, um, yeah, they just keep your head up, yeah. they work double time, and here we are now, International Surfing Cup is back, yeah. down in this back, there's almost flights every day, two or three flights every day, so Manila, yeah. Yeah, Manila, Cebu, mm. I've heard the Davao flight is going to come in next week or in a few weeks too, so, yeah, what an option to come to yeah. Manila, yeah. yeah, for sure. And, um, yeah, I always uh, remember that, you know, as government support, the local government is always big on uh, having this event. So I'm sure you know who's been working hard with WSI putting up this event. So uh, uh, really big thank you for all the people and person that bringing this event back. Yeah, all the, uh, the private sponsors too. Yeah, the, the, the LG has been on this since day one, mm -hmm. since the late um, Mayor Rosillian. And now his, um, his daughter is the uh, vice mayor. Okay. She's the one who's continuing the, the program now. Yeah. yeah. And um, the mayor and uh, congressman too. Mm. It's supportive of this event. Yeah. Jerry Gigan, of course. <laughs> um, can I can I leave him uh, behind now? Because Jerry has always been the, you know, one of the vocal person of uh, this event since, I don't know, since the first one. one yeah. Yeah. Because I remember when uh, I was at Rama, I came here, and he was the one who shake, you know, our hand at the, the airport <laughs> <laughs> welcome to the Philippines. <laughs> and I was like, wow, this is amazing. I'm for Jerry to everyone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah, first we have Jabby, second we have Clarence, and Ben Laden, just what? Who's the second now, yeah? So yeah, there's a lot of Filipino surfers that have been traveling, um, you know, bringing the Filipino flags all over, you know, I would say the world, because outside Philippines is the world. So uh, Mara Mara is one of the, you know, one of the person that showing the talents out there. And I, you know, when you come here like 10 years ago, you you see the guy, the older guy, like Dodo or also, but now you see Mara Mara and also even the younger crew. Yeah, yeah no one in those guys. They're bringing like, uh, you know, the new, new, uh, fl uh, fresh blood, yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, um, well, you guys have always, like, been a big brother to us, like, the Indonesian crew, you guys in the surfery, so we look, we look up a lot to you guys and just trying to follow the footsteps of what you guys are doing. Yeah. With national comms and all this. International comms and, yeah, my mom just won the Thailand, or the Phuket. Beach Festival? Yeah. It was, uh, it was a really great event for Marama because, uh, I don't know, he just surprised, I think he just surprised uh, everybody <laughs> that, well, you know, what he can do with his surfing and then, uh, because there were like, you know, big names like Oni was there mm -hmm. and I think uh, uh, Marama beat Oni in the, in the semi-final and then he uh, had to serve against Blackie in the final. And, they have similar similar way of surfing, you know, they're explosive and doing airs, but I think Mara might have a, a better advantage on that day. Mm. Yeah, and then, uh, I don't know, Mar I talked to Mara the other day and he said like he would like to travel a little bit more and then just focusing on his career, you know, surfing and, you know, with the Asian QS region, I think it's uh, really good for surfers like him. And also, here we go, uh, Javi? Javi, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, surfers like Javi also can have opportunity in the future. You know, the more the Filipino, the Philippine government or, you know, private sector making an event, helping them to make a pathway also to follow Marama. Yeah, true. Yeah. We kind of like the new, the new system of the WSL where you, all, you do the smaller QS within the region first. So yeah. now having, a, having a Filipino passport is pretty much hard to travel all yeah. over the world with visa restrictions and all that for every region. Yeah. So at least with doing all this QS events around Asia, it's much easier for them to travel it cheaper too. Yeah, I think that's what the WSL is doing, you know. Thank you very much for you know, all the tour manager. I have to say, Will Hayden Smith is also a big, big help on this one. I'm sure he's uh, tuning in somewhere in Australia because of the able to do your task now, running, you know, big office probably for WSL. Thanks for having me here. We have uh, our tour manager here is uh, Aisurati, also been helping a lot in Asia and uh, making 
think here in Ireland, the QS 1000 is an important part of our movement. Thank you very much. Come on, McLeary. Thanks, sir. So, um, yeah, I think, uh, you know, with, with, with all these opportunities that we also give to, you know, smaller countries like Indonesia, or Philippines, Thailand, we need to take advantage of it for our own surface, for our, you know, development. Because, uh, I don't know, you want to see more of Javi and, uh, you know, having an uh, opportunity on his own hometown first. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like you said, it starts with the uh, under 10 spurs, and yeah. then you, you go up to the boy drivers, and then the national, and then eventually the uh, US. US. Yeah. So that's the plan for um, moving next year. We're planning to do a bit more QS around the Philippines. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's, a, that's a really good idea because if you have a you want to grow football, you need to have a, you know, a football field, a stadium. But you know, Philippines and all uh, our region have a lot of this wave stadium, you know, mm -hmm. not even a wave pool, but a wave, uh, I would say. It can be a studio, it can be a stadium, it can be anything. We have everything, you know. So the kinds of islands are on the Yeah, for sure, yes. I think Philippines are here. I have to say, there's only 10% of where you've been in here. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, <laughs> it's just the only way. You're flying all the way, uh, uh, or not, on the way to uh, the Shaga Airport. You see it all the way. You know. <laughs> it's funny, sometimes someone will just message me on Instagram and say, hey, go, hey, come here, check this way. I'll be like, what? Yeah, Where's this place? And then I try Google, Google Earth it. You know? Oh man, there's waves down here. Yeah, for sure. Everywhere that's facing east, the Pacific, there's waves. Yeah. So yeah, I don't know, like, um, I'm sure you know a little bit more about Cloud 9, yeah, but, yeah because uh, when, when did you first time you came here to Cloud 9? Oh, 99. Wow. Yeah. 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 I wish I could have planned then. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I should uh, do uh, what to make you get here. But next to him. I think when I came here, Jerry was here 20 years. Jerry was here when he was one years old. Imagine the surfing the slaves just came and his feet fell and said, he would open the eyes like Dodo and the sword and get you off. Yeah. From the first generation. First gen. The nice surfers here. There's Wilmar. 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 Yeah. Wilmar. Yeah. Asta. Yeah. yeah. It's amazing to me, you know, where you come here in the beginning. See the changes now. It's kind of sad, but it's also, you know, like it, it, that economy. Because mm -hmm. when I came here for the first time, it's still dirt road from, yeah. like, from Dhaka to here. Because mm -hmm. you have to take the ferry. And, uh, you know, like after a couple of years, you see the different now you have the type of restaurant. But you have to see, like, in my country, the economy growth may, you know, like giving also. Uh, Economy help to, to the local people. They can learn about skills. They can learn about a lot of things. And they, you know, at the end of the day, surfing is not a cheap sport. Also, maybe the parents can work and then buy their kids surfboard. So imagine if the parents also have no income. It's, it's hard to to do the surfing development. Also, yeah, it's yeah, so true. Like we were just in Bali a few weeks ago, and what crazy, crazy there! Like everywhere you go from. So we went to Tehran, to Chengdu, to Kuta, up to the Bukit and around. Yeah. Everywhere you go, know, it's just tourists. Yeah, one of the main attractions of people that come to the coastline of Bali is just a simple as surfing. And uh, that's what the Philippines can do also. You know, we have Bolivia, we have Cloud 9, we have this bell right now. This is like a lot now. So, you know, this kind of vision is, this is the one that brainwashed people to get here. So, I would say, uh, you know, Really uh, appreciate the development and San Miguel to put in this album, for sure. Yeah, for everyone watching, like this is this is Cloud Nine. This is just one spot. Like on the left side of Cloud Nine, there's five different spots, and on the right of Cloud Nine, there's like three more. So you know, there's, there's a lot of waves along with the uh, small distance, the small distance. Yeah, I have to say, like uh, the event here had a lot of support from the whole, you know, from. Every, everybody, because I've seen like uh, you know, the Coast Guard is helping, the, the medical, you know, the media is here, the local people is cheering. You know, I heard the, the opening ceremony has been always big here, so 
it's always been like the, the people's event. Nice. Like a, a big celebration that happens once a year. Yeah. Yeah, so, um, hit number one, just, just, just finish. Yeah. You know? Did you see the jersey here on the app? Uh, maybe on the app, I think. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, so go to the surface and move to the next round, right? Yeah. And then we're also going to have to inform that we have four hit of round of 56. So this is hit number two. And then after hit number 56, we're going to move to round of 48. And that's what we're going to have uh, a bit of a colors there. And we're going to have uh, a bit of uh, a chase from people who's coming uh, to the event. Yeah. yeah, so next year again, all local guys, local boys. Yeah. I mean, the band is actually kind of the sun. Oh, really? Is that something that people are going to use today? I mean, it's completely high, so. Yeah. So, nice. Oh, James is going to hit more. Oh, James, James Kudos. Yeah, so uh, I think you, you have to understand, like, uh, people like James, the reason why they come here is to surf on um, the yeah. That's the reason why they are here. Yeah. And to surf, uh, you know, the opportunity to surf with uh, three other guys. He, he was always like, yeah, 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 he's so much missed that one. <laughs> it's almost like. Uh, I live in Bali if there's a chance to sit with three other guys, I would take it. Yeah. Yeah. It's on. Yeah. 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 So, yeah, so we have a men's round and we have a women's round too. So, it was a men's um, QS 1000 and a women's QS 1000 too. Yeah. And, um, What's next after the Philippines? Where, where's the next QS in Asia? It's going to be a tall one. Oh, yeah, that's right. So that's yeah. going to be a big one for all of us because um, you know, the top six of the uh, Asia region are going to qualify for the Challenger Series. And right now we have four, I don't know to say four Indonesians are there, or three or four. Father mm -hmm. is there, Oni is there, and Ryoki is there. So, um, Kia is there. Yeah. Kia is there too. And then we have to finish the Challenger Series, but he's still in the top six. So the top five that's invited to the Challenger Series is the top six, which is where's the next Challenger Series? The next Challenger Series will be in the Portugal was the last one, the next one is Brazil. That's what we're going to get invited to. This one is not. This is for 2020. So we will get the Portugal last one, and then we have to go to Brazil, and then the last one is in Hawaii. And after that, you start your challenge series. In the Rio's first guy who's qualified to the CTA first. Yeah, uh, it's first Indonesia. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a very good moment, you know, because, uh, you know, Indonesia been, I have to say, uh, pushing surfing since the uh, you know, early 80s with uh, our late uh, president of the uh, Indonesian Surfing Association, uh, Dr. Rizani. He's the one who's playing, you know, playing the Asian surfers to, you know, like ISA back in the 80s, 88. It's been, it's been that long. And then to see uh, Rio, you know, bringing the flag also at the ISA back, you know, he's, he's finished second. And then uh, after that, he went to Portugal to qualify for the channel for the CT. It's just show that anybody can have hope, you know. Yeah, it's true, so, yeah. yeah. It's just like in Southeast Asia that we can do it too. Yeah, for sure. You know, like, I, don't, I, I, I never died, you know, surface so from the Philippines, from Indonesia, you know, even from Thailand one day. Or, you know, more, more surface from Japan or Korea, you know, or anywhere from Asia can have that opportunity. As long as the, you know, like the people, the organization is uh, making the platform. Yeah, it's just at the end of the day, it's a team effort, it's never been like a, you know, even how many ways you have to fight them. 
ties and other other details. It's it's, it's harder. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. Um, so it's hard first. Um, championship, the uh, championship winners we built your head on our key pads from the uh, ISC Indonesia surfing championships from you guys and. You know, you guys have been really helpful to us too. And see, I think real qualifying was, I think it was bound to happen for a long time now. Yeah. It's like just, just the right time of who, who, who's going to be the one qualifying. But I'm sure there's going to be, when we were watching the run, but uh, your TP your TP that job with Rob uh, a few weeks ago, do those kids and go in. I know, yeah. it's crazy to see their talent, like, you know, just how they approach others, just doing their, their flow and connecting from one when you were to the next one, you know, you can see, like, yeah, so there's some good points for sure, you know, because uh, we need to lay those and yeah. mini findings and mini real life is there already in your screen thing. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, with consistent program for the kids, Spread it out for all places, and you can scout them easier, and then they, they feel like they are, Having a future, and that's what you need to do with those you know, young kids. So, this is Surfing Y. I'm not sure what his name is. So, uh, this is uh, Gona. What was his first name? It's Josh Gona. Oh, Josh Gona, yeah. Yeah, I'm really interested to see the, 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 the surfer from. Um, is it by or somebody? I don't know. I could think about it. What was his name? Uh, yeah, I could Yeah, I see him because he said, uh, you said he's uh, taking back like my money. Yeah, what is he? So, doing the national talk, he took down, yeah, so it may be a JR and Barbara. Yeah. So, anyways, there's, there were a couple of guys, like dark horses, that were shining in this event because you're not allowed to have this, only, to this, to the, to have this event in there. Backyard, they've been surfing here like years and years. They want to show something. Yeah, true. It's, um, it's good to see too, like, young kids from um, in different provinces just making it as a kid sculpt in that province too, like Robert Swama and Robert Juarez. And as we know, it's a sick way back to the asphalt with just six prior. And yeah, they just shine. Weights like this, yeah, it's like a right hand by the way, so we're seeing it all night. Yeah, the specific uh, way it is a little different from Indian Ocean, you know, because I have to say the way is really crispy. <laughs> like, really, really, like, I don't know what to say because it's just, I feel like it's, it's just super clean, super nice, it's really a uh, photogenic also. And uh, I'm sure, like, there's more people saying, I would like to come to Philippines. I think one of the other things that we have a need to do here is to do a bit of a, like, you know, like a specific, like, a specific promotion a little bit, you know, on how and what, which ways and how to get there, you know, because I don't know, Bali didn't, didn't help with our services in the 70s. They didn't want to do the, the, the marketing for the international government. But these days, we you know, like, Social media and, and the digital uh, aspect of that can help promote it in ways like this. I think it's easier. You just need to do the right thing. Yeah, true. This is. Uh, it's breaking a bit from the north to the uh, So this is how everybody say deep or like on the inside this one? I think deep. I think down here. So the tide is going to push more. So, it's got a higher time or lower time? Big time. Big time, yeah. Big time, 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 and uh, we have a surfer in uh, yellow, I think, or white. Green, I think it's green. Green, green, and yellow. Okay, this is green, yeah. Oh, nice. This one is like uh, linking up to the end. So, Kali is Kali, but I'm not the sun. He's 14 or 15 years old. It's always, it's always good to see you know, the next generation of a, you know, like a strong surfer. You know, we talked about it. I'm going to 
to be and uh, I got in this experiment and this number one because we've done it a lot from there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's so cool. So, um, yeah, to figure out, I don't know if I'm going to somebody, you know, to figure out to raise that idea. Um, that's, that, that's the one, that's the one that I asked you.
he's sitting in the first position right now, which I think right now you have. You want to jump right here, right? Yeah. So you can see the names here that are Mr. Morris from the same for Yeah, you know. There's a there's a lot of things you can read. You know, the stations of some words through the it's silly or silly is Spanish or yeah, there's a lot of Spanish influence. I mean, I would say it would be quite a fashion major, but I would think I'm going to be a fashion major. So, um, what else? You can say that. 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 That's it. 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 That's Just put out, put out of there. Just 
find a way is getting into the way to go in and then it goes especially with that mother water. And then we the other day and went down and calm it was ten to twelve foot. We don't have much time for the waiting period of the window and we have to stop the calm so it was big thing. So he's bike again on his backside but we really know as it's strong. You can see it. He don't know how to sit back side of his way. He's going to come in. So, 
the world is that we have it set up with choice, but on a third party, even the blue guy won't die. So, yeah, this is a show of international safety and the second day, second day. Everyone who's watching this, you see, thank you so much. This is the flag from Monday Night Super Bowl, and so it's the beach flag from. That guy will definitely be getting on the flag flag from the number. We start to fly to meet them from Clark Park Center International Airport to our side of Toronto, Canada. That's Troy. He's the owner. He was on his way to find his 215 
and all sorts of things. Why? How do you see it? Well, it's not a lot of things. It's 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 a lot of things. So this is my own design to dash on it. Let's try it out with the 2.15, so it gives me a smile about this. You know, wait, if you could get on that one, you know, because, you know, I have a 1.75, but I'm not sure what you mean by that 1.75, because it can be like a, you know, an attempt, although, you know, if you go to 5, there's a 1.7, and that way it was a two nice trends. That's not true, so uh, I'm sure there will be situation changes if you have a lot. But please, there is, there's also an information now. Mark, Martin Dillon is giving free image for the competing athlete here at the pipeline. Yeah, I'm sure that was so yeah, that's a great from my mom, Martin Dillon. So we'll see if we're going to go on that. Oh, yeah. So here we go. A little bit. 
the numbers are stacked, so it looks like there's a chance uh, we might be rolling into some really decent swallow. Did they get this on Friday? But that's up to the contest director, of course, yeah. Mr. Terry Deegan, who will be in consultation with the judges and also the um, organisers, the tech boys, to make sure that we've got time, we've got, we've got everything we need to make sure this event finishes up in the best conditions possible. But it's interesting, there's a, there's a little bump, a little bump in swell. Like I said before, we've had a little lull in swell this year. It hasn't been the classic cloud time that mm. uh, we're all accustomed to, that, that September, late September through October, generally we've got these offshore winds, locally known as the Habaga winds. Yep. Uh, the natural, the, 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 the native language, which means it's a strong uh, westerly wind. And it goes from northwest to southwest, which cloud line can handle um, quite well. When it gets a little bit strong, when it gets towards that 20 knots, it can be a little bit tricky to get into these waves. Uh, it's one of those waves that you just trust that it's got to open up and stay hollow there. But then there's still other spots to surf, yeah? Just yeah, yeah, of course, when that, when that wind sort of kicks up, you can move around the corner, like you can find about five or six different breaks within a 20 metre ride on your little hide mode thing, you know. Board rack, board rack, put your dog on. Oh, he wants it so bad, doesn't he? What do you get? He got a 1.65 for that last one. I don't think the judges gave it as much as the barrel as you did, Luke. Ramo, 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 Ramo. Ooh, and yeah, quite heavily on that. Well, but he's, he's safely in second place by the looks of it. James needing a, a 6.5 to, to get into it. So at this stage, it looks like quite safely we've got Raymar and Raymar to sort of battle out who's going to be in first spot. Both capable of that five. Uh, James, to get a six, he might have to hack away at that. Um, at more of a combo, so he might want to get into a, a four or something like that. Uh, maybe two fours might be his best attack on this one. So we are straight back with the National Surfing Cup, presented by San Miguel. San Miguel. Thanks to San Miguel for helping out again with this event. Yeah, and bringing the surfing back to the Philippines. I said it's been a long time between the next time it's been for the Philippines surfing, and these guys are just excited. The town's been buzzing. Since the announcement of this event, it was sort of late last year due to an interaction in the event. I'm not sure if you've got to touch too much on that. Um, no, no. You know, so this, this town was sort of taken down by a typhoon. Oh, he saved it again. Yeah. <laughs> Bless him. If you want to be in the airplane, you'll be the first thing you ever do. Um, if you're going to try it, you might as well do it when you need it. Because you're six by them, I'm guessing. So, I don't know, James is trying to get to get this straight up. We saw a few minutes ago. It was just the landing was a little off. <laughs> Oh, yes, yeah, so I got uh, decimated by Typhoon. It's just for 16, yeah. 2021. Right? Yeah, yeah. So, and it took out, it took the complete bottom off and the, the tower away. Uh, it took out a lot of houses, um, especially the locals, the second town. But we chug out the transport back. Um, the government's here, the LDUs, uh, the government's everyone has worked hard. We lost. Probably 100% of the power on the island, and within three months it was re established, which is a huge, huge effort uh, to get things up and running. It was great to see the community come together, and we're currently now out on um, what is being built into the tower again. It's being built stronger and, and better than ever. It's going to be the landmark that it once was. It's going more famous because everyone knows now what it's been through. You guys were here during. Yeah, we were here. It was an amazing experience. It was. I hate to use the word surreal because it gets thrown around um, left and right these days, but it was it was a surreal experience. It was it was a hundred percent exciting and hundred percent terrifying in the, in the same sentence. Uh, heartbreaking to know that ninety percent of my friends lost their houses, um, but also reassuring to know that ninety percent of my friends are okay. Uh, we unfortunately there was a few few deaths uh, during the country, but very minimal. Um, and two after it, um, just with struggles along post disaster, basically living dehydration. Yeah, yeah. Dehydration would be one because of the flood waters, uh, there's a bit of um, bacteria in the water, in the ground, and all that sort of stuff. Yeah. So there was a few issues and a few tragic stories. Um, but as the town, the town's been very strong, and my heart bleeds for those who 
we did learn it everything and lost our hearts. Um, and I know that the community is working together and everyone is really trying to help make everything as good as possible for them. So good to hear, John. Um, yeah, we've seen a lot of donation drives all throughout those first months, too. And yeah, so it's a lot of help from the community. And you just see, like, Filipinos are very resilient when it comes to very resilient. One of the main uh, sentences that I heard when I walked around asking if people were okay, they genuinely just say they're okay because they have life. Mm-hmm. And they're genuinely thankful to have every every part of just the breath in their lungs. Uh, there was no complaints. It was amazing. They said to my role with it. And I think might be lining up out there because he has a little check stored into the barrel there by the name of it. Last minute and 20 seconds we're ready on this. I said, Barry's made a little fly back here by the looks of things. You got a little cover up out of the side of your just now to make that requirement even harder for Jay because he's going to town this way. Looking for a good score to get into first place, like Mama actually actually get himself into a position where he might be able to take this one. Take the lead, yeah. Yeah, it's going to be an interesting scenario. Like I said, it's just more of a battle for first and second. So, James consolidating himself on the shore there. That possible pen dropping. He's he's just lost interest in me. But I just said, didn't see anybody out there. Oh, yeah, man. Well, that's what I'm talking about. That backhand technique that he has on his way is second to none. Um, second to none, but it's, it's, it's a very common backhand style. Um, being a forehand surf around here has its challenges, but then a backhand surf around here also. A great thing. I'll go with the sponsors that we saw the water roll as well. We'll let Luke take the lead on that one once we get it through because he needs a far better read than me. We're in my self holding up. I don't know what I am doing. I'm going to talk about the finishes, which is always good to see. Oh, yeah, it takes a little, little too little, a little too late, buddy. I think that would have been his tender and he was up in time for that one. Stayed up will be fine. The rules are so what we like to see. I kind of think of WSL events coming to Chargao and the Philippines is actually increasing their level when it comes to rules, ability, heat strategies. There's no prep for a competition like the competition. So it's, it's brilliant to see. It's really good to see everyone traveling from uh, Japan, Indonesia. It's a great little international lineup. Of course, we've got Thailand. 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 from Thailand. I'm going to go Sweden here. Sweden, you know, the ministry here. Yeah. Yeah. Who is, you know, he represents the Asian region, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, and kind of number one, I believe. Yeah. In the uh, uh, QS Asia region. The QS Asia region. So he'll be battling his way to get to that next level, which is the challenge of the QS. And cruising around the world. Um, <coughs> which has become a new grind for these guys to, to work hard and accumulate the points for that elusive. CT, the big goal of the game, the big goal is to become champion of the hardest, most competitive league in the world. Yeah. I met Miss Lindy, she's a gal with the bright red hair. Now she stands high from all the rest, you know her anywhere. Where she Um, 
I'm praying that's why we are keeping up this agent. This agent, we just know, yeah, and maybe it was one star, I think, our agent champions, and one day I'm going to break. It's only going to be me, and it's like all the ladies keep you, and also that they do. And I'm sure you can be here. And I'll see some of the good things that I'm going to do. I'd like to thank our sponsors who helped put this together.
slide ago, we're going to be sitting on life as a surfer. It's very interesting. Yeah. 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 Like surfing, very nice thing. Long blades and getting the blood into it all the way, the belt and the barrel. Yeah. You can make five jumps, but those two seven balls is taking down by those terms. You know what I mean? Yeah. 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 The level of difference between a surfer and an athlete, what these guys are doing out there, is actually looking at their bodies, their training, and yeah. their schedule. It's, it's actually looking at this new level of fitness. You know, yeah, that is, you don't have time to take a day off or you don't have time to do your work or what your dreams are. Yeah, yeah. I think, um, like, oh, I have something like going down. Why do you think it's going to be a very good thing? I don't think it's going to be a very good thing. I don't think if you have a barricade, it's unconditional. Yeah, yeah. 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 Those things were expanding is the one that I talk about when they have a very good thing about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, is, this is what we want to see more of you. Like, you know, an exclamation mark to that race, that fall, that we all want to look to the tail. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's on the other one, and it's on. And if you play in the band, you know, you're going to go away with a good score. Yeah. Yeah, and then also, I spoke to the girls, and I don't know if the girls have gone up to the street and went to their stand, but it's just lifting high. And I'm sure the judges are going to encourage that level of serving with barrels. So I'm sure we'll see that number down with the band. Yeah. Just a little bit, maybe, maybe very good, depending on how, what they want to set the scale at this point. Yeah, for sure, because you might be like, this day is sweet. That's actually cool. Serve me and women's, they, they have to have the same chances now we can see that you know, we're serving the pipeline and you're not going to be able to do it you know, you're not going to be able to do it you're not going to be able to do it you're not going to be able to do it you're not going to be able to do it you're not going to be able to do it you're not going to be able to do it you're not going to be able to do it you're not going to be able to do it you're not going to be able to do it you're not going to be able to do it you're not going to be able to do it you're not going to be able to do it you're not going to be able to do it you're not going to be able to do it you're not going to be able to do it Yeah. 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 
try to get a little more respect from the wider sporting community. Oh, for sure. And, and the, the hard work was done by you guys. Um, I think I'm very happy for watching your way in the sport. Yeah. You really participated in any choice in that sport. Was like you said, almost impossible. Yeah. And you know, they just squeeze out the kids. So just listen to the ABs on the Indonesians and the Indians. And yeah. I just think it's a fair way to do the same thing. Yeah. Um, every every nation has their own story. Yeah, and sure. And you forget that our Asian story comes from the Irish. And also, I guess the you know, Asian is also not a strong part of us in the Pacific world because you know, they're not a little bit of a problem. They're actually going to sell them and then more Japanese girl that are bad. So, it shows that Asia is the next part. Absolutely. And what I discovered was yesterday is the one that the Asian Pacific world is.
as you can probably hear about um, scores, speeds, and um, updated scores. Um, just letting you guys know that it takes a while for the judges to let you know. So, the scores, um, because they, uh, they have to, uh, what do you call it, like discuss, especially if it's, uh, if it's uh, uh, a very important score that's going to come up. So, the judges will discuss the scores, and that's why it's taking. Sometimes it's going to be a technical issue, and the agenda is also a little bit right next to the numbers, right? And this is one of the big issues. There's no information that any other judge is going to be able to say, you know, it's actually not going to be a lot of fun. Not missing any of the Filipinos. We have an Indonesian, the band of Japanese, we have a Australian, French, we have an Australian, a Japanese band. So it's a very good mix. Thank you. 
So yeah, thanks for having us and the other big sponsor for this event. We have NextGen, Nestle, and the Esports Foundation. Mountain Dew, Pudusel, the Pops, Sister, what is the Isle of Jenner, and Luna. And yeah, thanks for having us. Yes. Gino, um, Power Lines and so on, and I'm proud to start from the UPN State. So, we know that he's giving away free merch for the competing athletes. Right now, I'm giving Tay their merch at their booth. You can get a power line drive and just present your ID. How does that? That's good. Power line is going to be the number one here. Free stuff. Everybody likes free stuff. Some of the 
This year, we started up the night, you can see the changes from no one the younger, the younger kids smelly out from why the younger kids coming in. You can just see them in the body, and when they train in, you see results. It's not just about surfing every day and doing your training in the water, it's a lot of outside training from that too. She stands high from all the rest. You know her anywhere. Where she's mine. Yeah, she's mine.
Thank you. 
on our game when we're game time, where you're just going to go out there and punch the players, or your dad's helping you to be coaching and stuff, or... Yeah, I am. The free sales have been super busy. Yeah. So it's been... It's been a lot to have that with, like, four girls. I mean, I'm sure we're going to get into it. And then, of course, we get some sets, and... Yeah, just self and self fun. And then suddenly, before, so it's just bringing it to a new place with new people. The girls are so lovely, and I hope to keep getting through the rounds. Yeah, for sure. So, well, you're, you're in the next team for sure. sure. With three other girls. Yeah. So, for sure, you're going to get a lot of wins. Yeah. So, we'd love to your next team, and the sponsors want to thank. Yeah, uh, I'd like to thank all my sponsors, um, Chili, Live, FK. I'd like to thank Sophie Green, my parents, my friends, back at home for all the support. Um, yeah, I really appreciate it. I'm really thank you. And I'm going to be nice. Thanks for having me here. Hopefully, I'll see you back here. Yeah, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, I already made a layer up on the previous previous week. Thank you. 
something for the last few years. And not just to eat other possible things, just to be able to stir it down. And what did that feel like? Like, what did that feel like? Well, we, we kind of, I'm lucky there. This is just a little straight up art now. They call it Cornelia and Mountains. It's with the yeah, it's like the typhoon. So, yeah, we're pretty lucky out there. And again, we've been lucky to be with Jacob. We've been a lot of the film. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm
as of yesterday, this night is Tuesday, the thing so we do have a window on the last day, but if you pay a risk, that's the problem. If you risk, you wait for the very last day and never do it again. Where the change is and something happens. It's not something I like to do, but throw away to that last basket. Um, and, you know, to be honest, I'm pretty glad that um, Dan is in here with Dan. All this love is all the way of this stuff in the last day. People who jump off the couch, the way for the last day, it's not that many people who jump off the couch. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the last day. Yeah, yeah. That's the last day. Yeah, yeah. 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 Send your GCash number if you have a GCash. I know we don't know what GCash is. GCash is the greatest little thing, actually, that we were talking about with the Xbox as well. It's online, it's a little thing called GCash. It's all through the little page of the crack of GCash. Everyone accepts it. It's all called the movement. And I think it's hard. What do you call it? I'm such a little Australian. Well, in Australia, I think I'm going to call it back on this tap. But GCash is a big handy because it's not credit or anything. It's not you put your own money in. It's like it's connected to your cell phone number and you put money in that. I don't think it used to be with that. So, yeah, I'm talking like a true that they are blue and cherry for us. Sorry, folks, I'm not sure. She's in the middle of the night, my mind. Oh, okay, there you go. So, all of the mother and sister was down. So, I just said, oh, actually, Daisy was equal with my mind, but my mind has a higher possible one. Okay, well, you know, not everyone can win, unfortunately. So, then I was, so what is this now, the last hit of the game? Yep, last hit of E4. Not E4, last hit of the first round for a minute. Okay. Now, you're talking about more than me, I've got Hannah Serene Jabber, so that's. Tippy Slaughter, it's Tippy Slaughter. Tippy Fox is the other commentator because he left for the Donald Trump. He's out there uh, watching his daughter. Next to me, so he's dying in the valley. She's a local from here. And I'm um, close to the other crew, so it's a lot of fun. So, yeah, that'll be a good deal. It's just to see how Tippy's daughter serves. I mean, I, during the practice, every night I would serve out there. It's just too much to figure out how to get away with all that stuff. Now I'll respect the old bloke. So I sneak off off the other waves and it's going to be done with that. It's actually looked pretty good this week. You just look at your super spicy. It's a bit north, it'd certainly be better if it was um, a bit more east. Now, according to predictions, the waves on the end can go a little bit more east. So, hopefully that'll be the case. So, when it's a little more east, the barrels are a bit better, you know. It's, it's a lot more wave, the barrels are better. Yeah. All the ends, the ones are already shutting down the, the section a little bit. You know, if you get a... In reality, when you think about it, the direction we're going, a northeast swell is exactly what we want. This one is quite north. Is it Grace? Is Yogi's little sister? It's funny, I think the last time I've been coming through the three years, so I knew every single story. You know, because I haven't been here for a while, I've lost two. Yeah, it's hard to keep up with the other people. I think it's hard to keep up with the other people. I think it's hard to So what I want to do, I want to be done with the debating whether to run 
three the next round. So what you want to do is bash it up. See, so she will have the issue with, sorry folks, I wasn't normally with you very long, but I'll be back. I'll leave you with the casual hands of Luke. And uh, we need to go back to the to see if we're actually going to be getting all through to the end round for that. So, thanks for that, Gene. No, I'll be saying that there was a brown to see if he was running back and forth. Thank you. I'll see you So we are at the Shirley Dog International Surfing Club, presented by San Miguel. Our other sponsors are Next Gen, Visla, MVP Sports Foundation, Mountain View, Kudo Surf, Woodcock's Sister, and General Luna. Once upon a time, Mountain View is also giving away free merchandise for all the competing athletes here at Cloud9. You can claim your merch at their booth located at Cloud9 entrance. Just present your ID. So we went one way with it this week from um, Uncertain and White, which you know, one by no. For that, what did we do? That was quick. Look, this line. Uh, so we are going to carry on. Yeah, just thought uh, it's hard to sit here in the booth, but I heard some announcement out there about like, just a quarter of the ways I'm going to do it anymore. And then I got a text from someone out there. Oh, well, they were there, but I got it. So I don't know. Chris, I need that gear. I'm okay. everywhere. So, uh, I'll stick with your computers and your phones, and if you're mirroring it to your TV, we're going to carry on. I said, go so good to see that there's an Axis Lounge by Shaka there. Uh, you know, that's been organized essentially by Oopsa, which is on the menu to discuss with Oopsa. Oopsa is the United Philippine Surf Association. And they're a relatively new group, and I know you've got to have a lot of experience with them. The number one thing is to be able to do it. It's Thank <laughs> you. 
has had no intimate experience with uh, research. For a second, I thought exactly what the wife was. Well, by the time the field experience uh, uh, the group here, and it's my own, and uh, it's possible that I can find my own. That was when I was trying to go back and push me back to the United States.
Just don't want to 
Really, really enjoy the 
so the two best ways for you to be very hard to invest in a year to the score. So if it's like a tool, you take away this thing, it's not going to work for me. No, that doesn't really come to mind. And what we're doing is we don't really call this one in the middle of the class now. We don't have the revenue survey in the long term. So we want to do that side of the end. So that's what we're doing during the long term. Which is traditionally in the past. That's my thing. That's my thing. That's my thing. Certainly changes with the sound here during the time for what I was talking to you about. Yes, although it's there, it's called the first thing I learned that I didn't have this. When I came by, it was just a little bit straight back to the beach. It was actually the first thing I learned that I didn't have this. It's come back. Actually, when it actually comes up, the vocals were being sent off the beach and were sort of spreading it around. That's what happened up the coast is the beach up the coast was a rocky beach. It was up the middle of the coast, but it's also. Now that place is the most beautiful sandy beach in the resort of Richmond, just up past the Black Hill North Star Hall. It was a semi rocky beach, and now there's nothing to play volleyball there. So it was so shocked at the time. So the way we were there a few days ago, I 
Have you ever met Miss Lindy? She's a gal with the bright red hair. Now nah, she stands high from all the rest. You know her anywhere. Where well, she's mine. Yeah, she's mine.
small and flat. Dropped the wallet there from our surfer, jo Jolin? Child beggar. Yeah. Jomar. 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 And here we go. He's Noah. What can you do on this section? Big aerial. Wow. wow. So you Noah is the one who is the one who is the one who is the one who is that's good to know. Yeah, because these days you need to, you know, you need, you need to have a strong regime. Uh, you need to have a discipline if you want to be like on top of your game. Yeah. So it looks like we are taking uh, this heat away from uh, Joel Zavidra and also uh, Alan Derecho and Josh Gona. Congratulations to Noah, and uh, looks like he's uh, coming up here to uh, do some interview. And stay tuned, guys, for more of the Okay, you're back, look. Five. Ooh, this is local boy from Indonesia, also against a oh. couple. Uh, putra, Mike, this putra, yeah. Yeah, Imade. That's I. It means he's a boy. Mm. And if, if it's in Indonesia, in Bali, if your name start with an I, that's mean you're a man. If your name start with an N I or N I. That means you're a woman, so I, Hermawans, is a boy. <laughs> <laughs> he has a Made too? Yeah. He's Made a, means he's a younger or older? Uh, Made means uh, he's a second son. Oh. Yeah, second kid. So this heat, we have a uh, Putra Hermawan from Nusa Lembongan, uh, from Bali. He's actually won this event a couple years ago. Oh, that's right. Yeah, uh, okay. when it was a uh, AAC event. That's right. And then we also have uh, Alciso, the low. Is this the same one or is this Tata? That's the brother, yeah. This okay, Tata. This Tata, yeah. And Toby? Toby Espejon, that's Dodo's uh, second son, our uh, first son, uh, Mike Cannon. Yeah. So is that really a... Interesting. Yeah, yeah quite, quite a stat heat, this one. First wave is always the most important. Here mm -hmm. we go, Mike Cannon. Ooh, looks like uh, he could lost that priority. Who knows? I don't know. I'm not a, I'm not a judge. I recall a lot. 
So uh, we have here uh, Jerry Deegan and Rico, one of the two people that then, you know, some flavor to the island. <laughs> Rico's daughters is Diane. No. She said one daughter this Diane is Neil's daughter. Nephew. Ah, okay. So um, there's a lot of, uh, I have to say there's a lot of girls uh, this year surfing uh, this event and that's amazing to see. We want to encourage more girls surfing in Asia because it's a good balance to have more girls in, in the lineup, you know. In yeah, the lineup I was talking with Jerry earlier that it's just the first back-to-back -back men and women's QS in Cloud9. Mm -hmm. Usually they have a separate, huh? separate one in April or May for the women's event, but now this is the first one, so hopefully it continues all throughout the next year, so yeah. we'll have more QS around the Philippines. Yeah. Definitely want to see more, more girls surfing, more girls out there, yeah. giving equal opportunities to both male and female. For sure. And now, uh, you know, to have girls, the woman's energy in the water is also, it's good, you know. I was surfing like Karamas a couple of years back, and a couple of the CT girls was dominating the lineup. I was like, okay, you know, you feel like, uh, you know, it's not a male dominating sport anymore, and it's good to have that. You know, having a daughter, myself, you know, my daughter's really, you know, trying to control the lineup also. I don't know, I don't know why, but uh, maybe she learned from me, but uh, I'm pretty male in the water. <laughs> <laughs> but she's like always come to me like, hey, that guy's, uh, you know, pushing me, dropping in on, on me. What should I say, Dad? And I just say, just tell them, uh, move away. This is, you know, if it's your way, if it's your way. But if there, if there, if it's their way, you need to respect that also. You need to, you need to teach them, you know, what is right and what is wrong. That's true. So we have a five minute pass with only one right. A lot of uh, picking on this one part, right? Putra, Putra has been um, selective with all the competitions and stuff? Yeah. So uh, on the last Liga final, he made it to the final. So he's representing his surf club. On the uh, open division, he's uh, top two in Limbongan. Agus Firmanto was number one. Mm -hmm. I think he was second or something, and then he represented surf club. And during the grand final of the Liga, he made it into the final. I think he got third or fourth, second or third. Yeah. Oh no, he got third because uh, the twins, uh, Tonjo and Blairong, got first and second. Those twins just radical. I see them everywhere in Bali. Oh, no, everywhere. <laughs> Yeah, so great guys to serve with too. For sure. Very respectful and always welcoming. Yeah. Shout out to the Lindbong Club. We have a lot of matches. Lindbong, Lakshaw, Bazaar, 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 Baz
insert plugs straight up. Yeah. And you can pop it here. Yeah. And then the, the good thing about this uh, plugs event is a uh, member of the, 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 the surf club is the one that put in all the time for judging because if you if you're a master division you can judge for you know for for example like juniors or under ten or look at this one put your like driving in that barrel maybe like a you know medium score because it wasn't that deep but the wave was that so 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 open. Yeah, it was so open. Uh, yeah, like uh, that's the thing with judging. You're like, usually, you would want to not see the surfer, so mm -hmm. it's not deep. Mm -hmm. But sometimes the wave is so perfect, it's so open, it's even so open. Yeah, yeah. 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 it's so different. Yeah. Get the uh, score. So it's important. 
to see uh, San Miguel is a big part of this area, supporting years and years. Whenever I come here, I always see the brand San Miguel. You know, bring the pink food when you're here. Yeah. You know, I always try to, you know, try to have a local taste. Yeah. And even though I also represent, I come I, I represent the beer company also for the HDI, I'm sponsored by them. And I say, yeah, it's a different brand, so it's good to, to, to hear that. You know, surfing is also part of the lifestyle that, you know, corporations like San Miguel, you know, want to get away with. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. So we have seven minutes on the clock. Yeah. It's either an upper left to spill where the stores are and the uh, you know, pack up. So, for this, in a specific position, we want to wait a little bit. Now, it's a small. 
lost were because of convoys sailing west. And uh, so maybe not convoys, but still it's one. We also a little bit of quiet out there, and we only went away for the. But I remember yesterday he was he was pretty active in the water, but this evening he's super selective. Don't know his father is out there as a beach marshal helping out his event. I'm not sure if he's our previous leader. Is there ever a previous event? I know also previous event. Yeah, it's all hard. It's all hard. Yeah. Uh, what about that? Uh, I think he would be in one of the finals. Yeah. Yeah. So I thought he was in the Indo- 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 Indonesia for you know, a couple of months. He also joins Kuri and Diaz of the Jimmy Division. He spent some time in Bali. And uh, I, I didn't see uh, Choi, I only saw Toby there. So this is hit number five, hit number six next, and then we're going to wrap it up. We're waiting for more information. If uh, hit number eight going to be our last hit of the day, who's we'll spin the peak? What a nice number three, letting a puddle go on that one because if green just turns this <laughs> point to, to, to the to the right. Tata will have to be careful there, huh? Because my guy is sitting in the third position. So, uh, quite a good gesture there for Mike. You know, you know when I do a wrong move here, especially, especially when you already have like a really strong lead. Now we have uh, Baron and Watson. They came together uh, as a Baron sitting in the top six right now, and Watson uh, is uh, also not far around top. Oh, look at this one! Dangerous situation there from the split two. Mike went right, and Tata went left. I right know. <laughs> this is a quite interesting situation because Tata needs to be careful. Yeah, he's uh, playing with fire there. Maybe you have a. Uh, all the confidence that uh, the other guys are going to go there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're all from the same quality. Hey, uh, I have a good buddy in my league, just don't care. <laughs> <laughs> just uh, calling my, I got that interference with my last uh, last animation of the league, actually. I was ripping. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't know there was a guy who was me. Oh. And he just, he just raised his hand and I got that interference. And I was like, oh my God, like, what just happened? I thought you were my friend. <laughs> Nah, friendship it stays in the land in the land. You know what? You're like mortal enemy. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, um, we have a Valorant top six uh, right now in the Asian region. You know, trying to chase that dream into the Challenger series. And then we also have Ryuki also in top six. We have Oni Anwar also in the top six. Bronson is a little bit outside the top six, but he's uh, trying to chase some points and uh, stepping up the ladder. He had this. He's number one, number one, one. Yeah. He's number one in Asia. We don't see too many Japanese in this event. We have maybe like around five of them, but uh, if they do good in this event, they, 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 they could collect some points, you know. A thousand points is a good points to, yep. to keep on your ranking system. For sure. And then after this one, um, the, the, the QS Asia are going to move to to Taiwan, the QS 3000 and the QS 5000 on the woman by the region. Here we go, Toby. Looks like a little bit too late there. The two minutes to go. He need to be uh, him. He need to go out there and uh, get a, a bit more selective and active. Here we go. Which one? Parking. Something like parking. That's uh, one of the first uh, barrel that I see uh, surfers like. Taking off and parking, and usually as uh, I said, like guys like holding the weight from um, first take off. Perfect setup there. Yeah. Nice bottom turn. Yeah. Nice total. 
Det er helt tydeligt. Ja. Men det er jo god idé. Det er sikkert, at det er en tøjsisk idé. Ja. Jeg ved ikke, om det kan hjælpe at tænke at 575, fordi jeg ved ikke, om det er bare at sætte op en barrel, eller om det er bare at starte fra det begynde og holde den barrel. Men det er interessant at se, hvad det er bare at gøre. So you see Mike Langen also um, referred to the, you know, uh, I think they have a hard time, you know, all those four uh, super low score. Here you go. Looks like uh, Mike is coming for this one. Yes, we are. Yeah, he's doing something. I think he needs to I think you need to change the strategy because during all those uh, aerial attempts, when you can get good scores by barrel line. Yeah. I'm not sure, you know, who knows, you know, Mike maybe did, you know, a lot of them and um, make a lot of them also. Here we go, Tata again. On a nice inside barrel there. Roundhouse cut back. Oh, looks like Putra did uh, better his score. Nice. A six point. Oh, one more. Six point zero zero. Yeah, six point zero zero. Or six seven? I'm not sure. One of them is like his, uh, his last score. And uh, he's surfing from Putra Hamilton, showing uh, why he was like the uh, ex champion here, previous uh, champion here in uh, Cloud Nine, and uh, next seat uh, looks like it's pumping. <coughs> Stay tuned for stay tuned for the next heat. So, Jeff, what's up? Last week, yeah. Is it? So, they're going to uh, wait for a hit seven and eight later, probably. Oh. So, I think they're going to push them. Yeah. So, welcome back to the. Here we go, Jeff, from the target. Nice, Jeff. Wow, what do you have to say? Oh, you got the wrong. He was actually from the Bel Air. Uh huh. Since so he's uh, heard the case about the next yep. minutes from Belgium. Yeah. Ooh, double yeah. 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 What? Making out. 
and I want to be like, John is a big part of the Scott community here, putting up the, the school also. Did you see that kind of Yeah. Okay, so uh, we do have an official call here. We're going to run it. Can I see it, seven and eight? Yeah, okay. It's okay. Nice to know. So we have more action. So here we go. Uh, Jeff, I thought it was 3.75. Not bad. Could be a keeper. For now, I'll tell you, uh, we don't have your score. And also, we have here our ex national champion. Oh, is that not the same? Did you win or two? Okay. So here we go, Pisa. So Pisa, no stranger for about nine. He's a super high Pisa. Here we go, I got Bobby again. A little bit later. A little bit later, I got one of the jobs, you know, he, I think he's a uh, positive mind. Uh, still, uh, still alive, you know. He said to me that, uh, thank you, Pisa. I'm one of the oldest guy in the band, and he asked me, you know, how old I am, and I said, like, I'm 24. And he said, like, what? You're older than me. You know, I, I just like to start thinking, keep my body healthy, you know. I, I'm not a competitor, as these guys, I just like to be out there. You know, I'm not getting any guys out. Appreciate your time to travel here, and then to have that moment to be out there. It's super important. So, he's so with a 4 to 5 to his opening line. And Troy has been on the better of Toby. Unfortunately, he didn't make out with that last uh, heat with uh, Putrai Erdogan and also uh, uh, Kozia and Tata. Yeah. Tata, I might have him on the panel and also on the panel and also on So talking about about nine, what kind of um, clientele visitors that you have? Because I've seen a lot of Israelis, a lot of uh, Israelis, a lot of 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 Israelis, they are pushing the boundaries, you know, because uh, I'm, I'm not a lot of Israeli surfers, and uh, they, they surf really, really well. Here we go, John Carney. Talking about John, we were in the El Salvador for the Olympic qualification, and well, that, that, was, was, that was a technical, that was a technical drop there. And he was driving a little bit in there. Here we go, John. <laughs> Yeah, it looks like we're the only one that's on the surface. I mean, it's a vision very important for him. Yeah, I don't know if he's right. He's surfing. Sur 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 uh, there's a big movement there. They have their own QS happens um, in front of Europe. And uh, they have a strong women's contingent. They almost qualified for the, the Olympic. So, uh, yeah, to see that uh, rich history of surfing for that, you know. And there's like Israel Paskovic, you know. That one is uh, a surfer from California. Spreading the love of surfing in Israel. And so, and so we have looking at his back. Yeah. So we have a lot of Israeli here. I've seen a lot of, uh, I think, the world. There's a lot of Israeli here. There's a lot of Israeli here. There's a lot of Israeli here. But when he's gone, the house is like super clear because the sun is there, the sun is in color. You know? What, what, what can be more rewarding after a long surf to pass close to the ground, you know, watching sunset for less than a dollar, uh, 50 cents. That's how much they want to do. Uh, oh, nice turn there from Piso. Still super sharp, strong. Uh, it's going to be interesting what is, what is, what is the judge going to score that one? What's going to be, what they're going to be more than that one? Because it was three technical turns. Yeah, it was three different turns. Yeah, it was on the left and also the right. So I can hear a drop on the 
Yes, I knew that. So I was like, okay. Yeah, I remember like that a couple of years ago when we were trying to go and we had to go up on our and find the way down. The sun was dashing in the way. I was going to show you the sun was dashing in the way. On the lead, I'm not even aware. One second. It says from my heart, my heart, that I don't know what the score is. Special day that day from our part, taking out the U.S. Chris Knox, I didn't ask that time. A lot of people come from that event and I've seen my guys from Costa Rica, from South America, and the Republican Convention. So what happened? So we had 975, Jeff, and a 465, John Carney, and 31, and Phil Marie. And this is Tori that's been on with a 225, still open, wide open for everybody. Yeah, wow. So she used to also have a good job for her, I was dating her. And also, uh, coming up, coming up as a young generation, uh, so yeah, we're gonna have a previous meeting. We're gonna have the heat. We're gonna have a push on number one coming up in the in the booth. Steve, he he did a great job. He was one of his traveling buddies. So welcome to the booth. Push on number one. So we have a heat winner of heat number. Five, you are uh, so you uh, yeah. How do you feel? I feel great. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Is this place a uh, um, remind you of home a little bit? Yeah. 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 You've been training hard, but I love it. Yeah. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about uh, Tom Ryan. Uh, so you you mean, you before. Yeah. 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 Tell me a little bit. What year? Uh, I think in 2015. Oh, yeah. 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 Do you remember if we had in the final? I don't remember when you got it, but I don't remember when you made it. That's good to know. I always remember the face, but not the name, you know? So, uh, you have two good ways, you know? Tell me, tell me your heat. Oh, you guys are really fun. I really need to get to it. Yeah. The way it is, like, my home ring, I got the more I have the selection. Yeah. Similar, but same. Yeah. Same thing, but different. Yeah, you see, this is like another, uh, I heard you, but I view of the Alpine uh, Braves as the judging tower where it's situated right now with uh, supposed to be three stories maybe in the future, but got uh, blown away by the typhoon. And, and uh, yeah, I was thinking of Nisha view, but I was like, I was like, Nisha view. I was like, 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 I Yeah. With Ryuki, are you trying to get into the Challenger series? 
surprise, surprise, we lost it. <laughs> I thought you were like, yeah. <laughs> so, um, that's the situation. Ooh, double, double V logo, uh, draw that, or he's got a, a draw that he can It is a double, double V, you know, the drum, so one is a high and one is a lower. So we have Pizzo and Jack from the city in first and second. Troy is looking for a 6-5. Jack Harvey is also looking for a 6-5. Here we go, Jack. Jack touches a lot of here. Yeah, I think Jack just want to have fun also. Good. 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 Looks like Troy is looking to get that one. He's uh, sitting with him first. So we already have a couple of um, international league winners here. We have Pajo Turan, we have uh, Puja Hamar from Indonesia, and um, out here you can see uh, more amazing dates coming up. Hopefully, uh, on this week, oh sorry, if um, there's a wave on offer, I'm sure like all the surfers will uh, take advantage of it. <coughs> and there's, uh, there's a little bit of uh, tides that's going lower. It's a fact, actually, the tides went lower and then uh, the tides go low, usually the energy of the wave also decline a little bit. And um, so we might probably go up to this round. We may have to wait for the final uh, decision, but uh, we we'll know that uh, we're looking up next week, seven and eight. Yeah, so we can shout out for the tournament. Yeah. Safety is some um, as far as the weather is concerned here. Watch like um, 12 minutes, I'll be waiting for that to know anything like this. So, you know, it comes from the um, mountains or the uh, uh, water that might fall to them. Um, a little cold. So, I think it's that you forget about them. The one where you see a blur is from the top here. Um, yeah, I'm not sure everybody on the online on this stuff. Why are they so fat? They are guys. What is the name of the really famous wave in Portugal, the big one? Nazare. Nazare. Yeah, Yuki Brand is a big brand that I have from Nazare. Thank you very much for joining us. Reminding us about that big wave in Nazare. Yeah, talking about the safety. All the the safety precaution that WSL does, they have a really strict, you know, list of what to do about, you know, about, about uh, uh, safety. Especially with the big wave event. So, yeah. <laughs> when we get the gym in the van, we have, uh, you know, a uh, hatchet, you know, some data very close, you know, well, it's all of our experience and uh, making sure that the priority is the surface safety. And, uh, as a sports, you never can take down that, that part, you know, safety is number one. So it looks like uh, we have a right now a view of, uh, and you can see that's the priority test. You see the number one, two, three, and four. If your color is on one of those numbers, that means you have the right uh, uh, scene. Uh, you can see now red have first priority, second priority is blue, and that's the reason why that have unconditional light of that wave. So if blue is like you taking off that way, you might get paralyzed. That's the reason why we have priority uh, uh, on board. It's just to have a, have a, have a more fair playground. Yeah. Because back in the days, when there is no priority, you fight for a wave, you, you know, there's a lot of tricks happen. So well, it's a kind of faster <laughs> Because you have first priority, you have the first call. Not by 
splashing in the pool and somebody's leash on the way back out, you know, you know, you don't mind out, but it's okay, you know, I mean, yeah, it's really good for the financial system. So, uh, yeah, we have a um, big crew here from uh, the North Sea Captain. Yeah. Oh, oh, what? I mean, you say Steve? I was claiming it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's cool, huh? Yeah. That might be a uh, reward. Oh, that was a temperate. That might be a reward in the 80s, you know? And, uh, it's a lot of time. I know. It's a lot of party. Come on, Johnny, I still have one with 40 seconds to go. You only need a six. Six, five. That's one battle. That's one battle left, you know? I mean, you just, just realize, I think you make it. You know? <laughs> Miss Lindy, she's a gal with the bright red hair. Now nah, she stands high from all the rest. You know her anywhere. Well, she's mine. Yeah, she's mine.
Jesus for our Pulls us back to the earth of the Old Testament and we come to that side here from Sunday Creek. Is there a tiny six here? Are we six years out? A little water mark? Unlike the other water? You haven't seen any broken water yet. You know what's going to be real? So interesting to see just two guys are writing two little push paper stories. Oh, nice. Charlie Shaggy. Thank you. 
So you wouldn't do that. Yeah, so you don't worry about it. Yeah. But I've heard of people who never get to the point of the world. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. So, um, what is your plan? Um, winning a lot of events, 
right? And I think he's doing this right. He's getting a little bit older now with all these numbers coming up, but it seems from there that he's getting strategy in his career now because he's such a big one in the end and uh, he's attaching also you know but that could be a career that also is the only thing that can be coming in the future yeah. Yeah. so we we have the other 10 minutes to go we have uh, Robert Olson on the other one Robert Olson on the other one we have Robert Olson on the other one and Robert Olson on the other one and Robert Olson is a really strong back side I was talking with him a couple of days I was going to see what I had done. Nope, it's just a bit of a So, okay. Just one glass of water. I'll wear it. 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 Sponsors at the L, the next gen, and this one, and sports, foundation, Mountain View. By the way, Mountain View is giving free merch to all the good people from the East here at Well Life. You guys just go to their booth, show your ID, and get your free stuff. We have a closer with Pat's sister and the municipality of Jedediah. Thank you guys for making this event happen. So we have seven minutes on the clock. That's Robert Kutal from NYS and the local machine board. Thank you, Steve. You ever heard of this kit before? I think you want to try to live in a lawn. You're not going to burn to the lawn now. And then you came here. That's like a professional event. You can change like JR and Marva to get to the finals. So, good job with this kid. It's not any longer than you could be in a future event here. I'm sure you can advise who are watching this now. Thank you. 
by yourself. And I was thinking maybe I'm not going to do that. You know, and I was with these guys, 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 and she wears up my serve shop after me. Oh, really? And she had a kid that goes there, and she's got one serve school, and she's got one serve shop. So, yeah. So, you are a good job with your brand, yeah. Are you going to be a
is where he still is blessed. This is the deal which is explanation because Roger and Robert is not too far apart. I mean, I think we are. I don't know if you guys know what you can call it. Have you ever met Miss Lindy? She's a gal with the bright red hair. Now nah, she stands high from all the rest. You'd know her anywhere. Where well, she's mine. Yeah, she's mine. Okay, welcome back here. <coughs> this is last week of the day. Uh, we have an opening right there from Brent. We have uh, this is all the local surfers right now. It looks like you have a lot here in Hell Out from Shardow. Uh, thank you, Mark Hanyan from Shardow. I have a couple there. And the one in the beginning from Shardow. Yeah. So, uh, Brent is the brother of all. Yeah, so, you know, 
que yo quise en esta vida. Ya que yo quería. Porque la palabra se me va a usar para la vida. Y ahora, yo no voy a usar para la vida. Y ahora, yo no voy a usar para